What is going on all you fellow tech addicts? This is Jay's Two Cents bringing you one of those commentaries that are somewhat rare on my channel, but I like to do them because it sort of gets me playing games. And as you can see here, I am playing the Titanfall uh, campaign, which is a multiplayer campaign, and I am enjoying this game when I get a chance to actually play it. So what do you guys think of that intro there? Pretty sweet, huh? You'll see it a little bit later in the video. It was a pretty epic battle. The gameplay here starts out kind of slow, but then I sort of get into my groove later, and I become MVP of this round, so go ahead and enjoy this gameplay. It's pretty rare when I'm MVP at anything. But you know, I put out an article on my website the other day, jays2cents.com, make sure you go and register today if you haven't been there, uh, talking about how Intel has leaked some of the uh, preliminary information on what we can expect with the new uh, Extreme series, their X99 platform, and their new Extreme 8 core 16 thread behemoth CPUs, and it got me thinking. You know, the average person is probably looking at maybe building a PC right around now, and they're confused on... Crap, what should I do? Should I wait for this to come out? Or, you know, I don't know if I should wait for that to come out. Or if I have a PC now, should I upgrade to it? So it got me thinking. Rather than talk about X99 and the little bit of information that's on the internet, I figured it might be a little more prudent for me to have a conversation with you guys about whether or not it's right for you to upgrade your PC at this current time. Now, when it comes to my timeline on X99 and when I suspect that or speculate that it will actually be releasing to market, will be sometime in June of this year, right around Computex. That is kind of when this stuff tends to debut to the world. Computex is the world stage for C uh, PC and CPU type technologies, GPUs and all that stuff. It is the world platform, kind of like CES for computers. So let's go ahead and continue this commentary here with the mindset of everything could possibly change in June for all we know. And we do know that there's some more stuff coming down the line with Intel, with uh, Broadwell and their, you know, their minor Haswell refresh. So it's, I get a lot of questions, people asking, is it time to upgrade? Should I upgrade? And you know, that is a very difficult answer for me to give you a definitive yes or no. There's a lot of factors that you have to ask yourself. And that's kind of a reoccurring theme in these commentaries that I do about PC components and what's right for you. You must be honest with yourself and you must ask yourself a few basic questions. The first basic question that is probably the most important question is, does my PC currently do what I need it to do? It comes down to that, people. If your computer does what you want it to do, then the simple short answer of do I need to upgrade or is it time to upgrade is no. But let's face it, if we build our own computers and we're gamers, we are also enthusiasts, which means that we are going to want to upgrade. So that kind of brings me to question number two. Do I need a new computer or do I want a new computer? Those are two very similar sounding questions that have completely different connotations that go along with them. If you're like me and you're doing constant rendering or you're doing a lot of power using with your computer, chances are moving up to a next uh, generation platform could very well be beneficial for you. If you're just a gamer or you're not really doing any sort of intensive tasks on your, on your PC, chances are you would not see any sort of an effect moving to a newer platform, not just X99 or any of the eight core 16 thread stuff coming out from Intel, but moving to any platform that be moving from AMD to Intel, which I did last summer, or moving from a lower end CPU on AMD or Intel to a higher end CPU. If you're doing simple tasks like gaming and surfing the internet, you're probably not gonna see any difference other than you'll have less money in your wallet. And at the end of the day, you're really not gonna see any sort of quote unquote seat of the pants difference of your computer. There's a lot of things you guys need to take in mind when it comes to upgrading. You may need a new power supply. You might need new memory. X99 is only gonna take full advantage of its new platform on the DDR4, uh, the new DDR4 RAM. So you're gonna have to take into account, you're gonna have to buy a new motherboard, you have to buy a new CPU, and you're gonna have to buy new RAM, which means you're talking a lot of money. And if you're just doing simple stuff like playing Titanfall right here, it quite honestly would be entirely wasted. So what I think would be a better upgrade, if that is the situation that you're in, would be take a look at your graphics card. Maybe you should get a second graphics card and go SLI or Crossfire with your current GPU. And there was that kill, by the way, we saw in the beginning. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. You know, for a, a shitty gamer like me, it was kind of cool to pull that off. But anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and get back on topic here. Oh yeah, look at that, and I killed that guy. Sweet. Anyway, 
It may be prudent for you to maybe upgrade your graphics card. If you're running a lower mid-end graphics card, instead of upgrading your CPU and your motherboard or your RAM or anything like that, it could very well be more beneficial for you to upgrade your graphics card because we already know gaming utilizes your GPU more than any other piece of hardware in your system hands down. Now, if you are finding yourself like me and you're doing a lot of rendering, maybe some 3D modeling, CAD drawing, photo editing, Photoshop, that sort of stuff, you are gonna be utilizing the full potential of your computer. Now, I'm currently still on Z77 platform, which is already a generation behind, and we do know that we have a new generation coming out later this year. So I'm starting to find myself in the situation of, is it time to upgrade? I mean, as we know, when I went to Z77, it was like the very last day of that being the current cycle and Z87 came out the next day. But I knew that going with Z87 was not necessarily the right move for me because it lacked a lot of the stability with overclocking that I knew I would get with the nice refined silicon that was currently being put out in the 3770K CPU. See, these are things that you also have to take in mind. If you like to tweak your computer and you like to overclock and stuff, it's never a good idea to adopt the very first round or very first phase of any new platform rollout. Early adopters, you take the chance and you take a risk of getting a dud. The bottom line is the, the silicone process and the processing of the CPUs just are not nearly as refined as the process matures. Now we do know that Broadwell is gonna be a minor refresh, so there's not gonna be anything substantial happening with that refresh. But we do know that there's probably gonna be some new motherboards or things coming down the line to go along with that refresh. So you're gonna to have to start considering backwards compatibility and what may or may not be happening with that in the arena of motherboards and CPUs. So there's a lot going around right now. Now, what would my advice be to someone who's asking me, should I build a computer right now? My answer to you would be absolutely. Buy it and build it right now. You're not gonna be missing out on anything major when it comes to the new features. In fact, most of us barely use any of the features that are really available to them on their motherboards anyway. So guys, I know there's no definitive answer that I can give you. But I'm gonna tell you that if you're the kind of person that wants to have the latest and greatest, you have to make sure that you have the money and the deep pockets to go along with it. It's gonna be expensive. There's no way you can stay on top of PC technology because you're gonna be seeing constant refreshes, which means you're always gonna have a huge diminishing return on your performance to dollar ratio. Now I suggest if you're looking at building a PC right now, you go ahead and build it and you just don't look back. Take your PC, do what it is that you built it to do, whether it be gaming, rendering, or whatever, and enjoy it. You're not going to have a lesser gaming experience because you decided to go ahead and build now versus waiting a couple of months from now. If you decided to buy something that was a couple of years old, that's a little bit different story. So guys, this has been Jay's Two Cents here just telling you, if you're looking at building a PC, don't wait. Because all you're going to do is constantly find yourself waiting if you're afraid of missing out on the latest and greatest. Now before we go ahead and get on out of here, I want to just tell you, I did end up as MVP of this round and I'm very proud of that. And rather than get to the drop ship, I decided to go ahead and take advantage of this Titan out here that just found himself kind of out in the middle of nowhere and check out the way that this round ends. I think this pretty much just says it all. He had no idea he was being rodeoed, and I'm just plugging away at him, and I'm racing the clock to see if I can get him killed before the timer runs out, and I think you guys know the way that this is going to turn out. Boom. Challenge completed. Jay's Two Cents MVP. It rarely ever happens, but hey, I'll take it when it happens. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in some way, and if it did, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.